Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I miss you guys so much. I had stuff going on behind the scenes, so I was not able to record any new videos for you guys. Hopefully I can be more consistent throughout the rest of this month. But today we're going to be looking at what you're currently not aware of. Uh, for the rest of May, any information that you need to book a personal reading with me will be listed in the description if you want one. So just check there. And also make sure you guys subscribe, thumbs up the video if you enjoy. And let's flip the camera and see what the cards have to say. Make sure you guys also follow me on Instagram if you're into pick a card readings, uh, but more so like posts and whatnot. But let's go ahead and flip the camera to get into the cards. Enjoy. Geminis, let's go ahead and jump into your reading and happy birthday to my Geminis out there. I hope you're enjoying your birthday season, your solar return. And let's see what good vibes are coming through. Hopefully we got some good messages up so what are my gemini's not aware of currently that they should be going into the end of may 2022 and this card's not supposed to be here but first card we have is behind a mask and we'll just take this one we have discovery interesting so what you may not be aware of there could be certain things that your partner wants to express to you that they're just not saying just for the sake of like keeping arguments down or to basically keep the peace. There could be certain things that this person feels like they need from the relationship or maybe lacking in some way or maybe there's things that you guys have noticed. Maybe you're not completely unaware of it. But it's just a conversation or this energy of you guys needing to be on the same page that, that needs to happen, that's all. Um, there also could be someone around you where their intentions are not pure. And this is somebody who just out of the blue is pushing and, and, and uh, all up in your face, all up in your energy. There could be a valid reason for why that's happening. So make sure you're not being, you know, overly excited for this individual to just kind of be all up in your face because there could be a reason for it. So anybody who you notice has been acting weird recently or anybody who does start to act weird in the near future, just use discernment. Uh, another thing I'm kind of seeing here, hmm, some of you guys may not be aware of even certain aspects of yourself. This could be in, in terms of good things and bad things, good qualities and, and, and bad qualities that you could possess. And you could start to really notice something about yourself in the near future. Whether that you have like extreme trauma where you have a hard time communicating. And because of that, you know, you could be somebody who's really hard to communicate with in relationships. You could be discovering that you really have a hard time when it comes to like wanting to be a parent because of childhood trauma, like things like that. You could start to notice things about your own self. This could even be down to like you just learning more about yourself via like a natal chart or learning about your what is it life path number it is just learning more about yourself and some of you guys do need to do that because this could help reshape a lot of situations or outcomes i should say in your near future okay we got cards flying everywhere. All right, so we have peace as well as the vast universe here. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting this energy of some of you feeling like either guilty or upset with how something played out. Now, the reason why this could be is because you feel like maybe you never got a chance to say something or if you would have did things a little bit differently, maybe the outcome would have been different. Spirit wants you to understand that everything happened the way it was supposed to. The universe is literally flowing the way it's supposed to. And same thing with that situation. So Spirit is asking you to be at peace 
and to really ease your mind in in letting that be a catalyst for you to like basically not enjoy your life some of you are literally torturing yourself because you keep replaying a situation that happened four years ago or two months ago uh five years ago however long when you should be at peace And, and try to exist in the now so that you can find things to be grateful for and to, to look back and be like, well, dang, if this person was around, I probably wouldn't have had this. I, I probably wouldn't have been in this position. All right. Try to look for the positives. Let's keep going, though. We have the Eight of Wands, Hierophant, the King of Pentacles. Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. So some of you who are going through divorce, uh, yeah, a level of divorce during this time frame, the reason why you could be going through it like right now is because spirit. I'm telling you, you have so much in store for you guys that keeps being held off because you guys could be distracted or your energy is being sucked away by energy vampire who's taking you guys away from making more money, feeling more secure on your own, having your own sense of independence. So spirit is like, no, no, no longer are you guys going to be suppressed by someone else and your light being dimmed and that's what's been going on some of you guys your your light has been dimmed by dealing with the wrong person especially husband wife okay hmm some of you guys are questioning whether or not your spiritual path is like for you and spirit is saying look just because outside people around you don't get it or don't understand that you're doing this for you does not mean you need to change who you are or what you believe in or what your interests are in for the sake of other people and making them feel comfortable okay who else is going to heal the generational curses in your family but you who else is going to be courageous Cor cor I cannot talk courageous <laughs> I think I said it fine the first time uh enough to do the shadow work no one okay so you be that one and this is your journey to step into unapologetically you did not just run across this journey for no reason now another thing you may not be aware of some of you guys really do need to take care of a certain health ailment or a certain body part, of, of course, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But take your health a lot more serious. If you have a certain health issue that you already know about, be serious about it. Stay on top of that because you don't want to make this a bigger thing. All right, let's pull a card from here. What's the final message for my Geminis? And their spirit guides. And it says, mark each day's end with gratitude. So beautiful card. This is just essentially making sure that you understand that every day at the end of the day, it's important to take note of what you do have and what you do have to be grateful for beyond just the tangible things like good health, uh, an ability to wake up every single day, things like that, so that you can experience more opportunity, experience more joy in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, you have to hold yourself accountable of being appreciative because we, a lot of times, can be very unappreciative when we have everything we need. We just want more. So this is what I see. I wish you the best of luck and I will see you in the next one.